hello guys in this tutorial I'm going to teach how to create a VM virtual machine using Oracle VM virtual box manager and then install Red Hat Linux 7 uh, on this VM so first uh, we will create the VM so click on the new option from here or you can click on file um, machine and then click on new so I'll click on new then name the machine Red Hat 7 because this is a Linux operating system so I've selected Linux type and it is 64 bit so I'm using 64 bit version click on next then specify the memory size in this case it's 1024 because I haven't got much memory on my laptop so I'm just giving it 1 GB and then the hard disk I'm just going with the default values 8 GB click on create and then it's asking for the hard drive file type I'm going with the default one and then yeah again I'm going with the default option click on create here you can change the disk size you can increase more space if you want but I haven't got much space so I am I'm going to install it with 8 GB now we've got a VM which is created but it's there is no operating system on top of it so what we are going to do we are going to boot the VM from the CD-ROM and we will install the Red Hat Linux 7 operating system so click on settings uh, go to storage here you see the CD sign and then select this uh, click on this um, image and then select I've already downloaded Red Hat 7 um, Enterprise Linux from Red Hat uh, portal if you haven't got a subscription you can download a free version which is CentOS or you can try scientific Linux so I will just select this image and click on OK and now start the VM So the VM is powering up so for the first time when you boot up the system from the image DVD IOS image it gives you an option so the second option is about testing the media and then install the Red Hat Linux I'm going with the first option which is install the Red Hat Linux straight away so I'm hit enter Okay, now you see the welcome screen and on this very first screen is gives you an option to select the language during the installation process so you can select any language with which you are comfortable with I'm selecting English UK and then I'll click on continue this is the installation summary screen so you need to set the values on this installation summary screen and then you will start the installation so date and time is ok it's London time zone because I'm in UK keyboard is English UK that's fine language support is English UK that's fine installation source it has already picked up by default but you can change the installation source if you are installing or you have got a DVD ISO image on a different location so I am okay it's from the DVD click on done 
and software selection by default it's many minimize install but I'm going to install the Red Hat Linux with the graphical user interface GUI because it will help us to get on with learning Linux quickly it is good for the beginners so then click on done Just checking the software dependencies let's wait until these symbol disappears yes it has disappeared yellow sign ok installation destination where we are going to install the Linux operating system so we need to select the disk or partition by default we got only one partition of 8 gig so I will just click on done so I'm going to use this one it's a very basic installation I'm not worried about partitioning at this stage okay it still says no node is selected okay now it's selected the tick box sorry the check sign and now I click done it's saving the storage configuration Okay, dumped. You can enable, keep it enabled. And here is a description. It's very straightforward. If for some reason kernel crashes, you have a K dumped log, which will determine the cause of the crash. I don't need it because this is a test system and for testing and training purpose. I'm clicking done. Then network and host name. You can configure the network and host name. Uh, on this screen or we can configure it later after uh, we install the Linux but just for the sake of uh, the tutorial I will just set the host name ok click on configure this is the screen where you can configure the IP addresses here you need to insert the host name Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 and then you can click on done ok now you can see on every option that yellow icon has disappeared so now we are good to go so now begin installation okay now the installation has started it's installing all the packages still it gives you an option on the screen to create a password for a root user root user is a super user it has got all the privileges on the system so I'm going to set the password for the root user and click on done and also I will create another user let's create a user Shahid ok we, I can make it as a administrator user but I'll make this user as a normal user, not super user. I'm setting the password. Click done. And now we will wait until the installation is finished. 
it has installed 20 packages out of 1214 packages it will take time depending upon the system um, configuration and speeds my system at the moment has got less resources so that's why it's taking us a time so I'm going to pause the recording and once it has finished the installation I will resume the recording I know the installation process is finished and now you can see the reboot button is enabled so click on reboot system is rebooting system has rebooted for the first time you have to agree when the system starts after installation you have to accept the license scroll down select this option I accept the license agreement to the lenses have you accepted the lenses click on finish configuration now this screen is asking you to register with the red hat we are not going to register at this time So I will select, I prefer to register at a later time. Come forward and now you can see the login screen. So click on the user and enter the password which you created earlier during the installation process. This is the welcome screen. English United Kingdom is already selected. Input device also English UK. And now click on start using Red Hat Enterprise Linux server. For the very first time when the desktop starts, it brings up this window which has got a tutorial for this genome GUI I'm closing it so this is it we've installed Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 uh, on a virtual machine which we created earlier using uh, Oracle VirtualBox I hope that you have enjoyed the tutorial and please leave your comments uh, at the end of the tutorial thank you